All right, y'all. Let's let's get into the let's get into this because I'm getting. I don't know who to blame for this, but this is not okay. All right, we've gotten to a place in society where people can just level the most insane, absurd allegations towards someone, not provide an inch of proof. It'd be taken as fact, and it'd be taken as fact. That is wrong. That's not a place that we want to be in society. We don't want to be here. So this man, Cody Connors, is a previous uh, Twitch employee. Um, he was like VP of something. Like he was pretty high up there in Twitch, pretty high up there. Um, however, all right, that doesn't make his word valid. OK, so everything I'm about to say here is alleged. This is alleged. We got to stop throwing this these PDF allegations on people and nothing's been factually proven. He got banned. So this is him speaking on a doctor disrespect, uh, getting banned from Twitch. He got banned because he got caught sexting a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at Comic a uh, TwitchCon. The powers that be could read in plain text, case closed, gang. Uh, no one made the wrong decision. Fuck him and his boys. That's crazy. That's crazy. If this is true, first of all, if this is true, Twitch would have had to turn this into law enforcement. That's a crime. He was soliciting a minor for sex. He was being sexually explicit with a minor over text. He would be in jail. I don't think y'all understand. They, they, they have a liability to report that. They have to. They have to turn that over to the FBI. They have to turn it over to the police. They have to turn it over to somebody. They didn't neither. What does that say? What does that really say? We got to stop this. Y'all got to start thinking critically. 26 million impressions on this post. All the quote tweets the likes, the bookmarks, all of that. I even retweeted it. But I only retweeted it so I could find it. Why? Why do y'all just blanketly believe any... Nobody has any obligation to tell you the truth. Okay, that's, that's one thing we have to accept in the world. Me included. I have no obligation to tell you the truth. I can just straight up lie to you. Now, this is Dr. Disrespect's response. To him, Jake, seriously, I get it. It's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged, and they paid out the whole contract. You have some nasty allegations against your name, and this was your cho your choice of words to use in a response. The Black Okage, listen, bro, you, you bullshitting, bro. You bullshitting. What the fuck is he supposed to say? He had a lawsuit against Twitch. What is he really supposed to say? His, his issue and his beef ain't even with Twitch. It's with this random dude. And he probably not even finna go at dude crazy because he's probably finna sue dude for defamation. Nope. No. He answered the question. He said, it's been settled. There's no wrongdoing acknowledged, and they paid out the whole contract. Again, they wouldn't have to pay out the whole contract because there's a morality clause. If he was actually caught doing what they said he did, they wouldn't have to pay him. They could just cut, they could just cut ties immediately. Oh, you're a criminal. Oh, you're a big PDF. They can drag and drop his PDF file that has the freaking. <laughs> that has the freaking contract in there. Like, 
what are y'all talking? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? But he's another person that's just reacting emotionally again, and it's and it's easy to do. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's easy to see the bad in people and bad in the world, but it's just this is just this is just not okay. So look, so check this out. This is what Doctor Disrespect said had to say. In the end, listen, I am obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can since this is the fucking internet. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been probed and settled. Nothing illegal. No wrongdoing was found. And I was paid. Elden Ring Monday. Crazy how shit and go salsa this is base. Crazy how shit used to be innocent till proven guilty. Now it's guilty till proven innocent. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Exactly. This is some sick shit, bro. This is sick. Bro, like, I, I wouldn't want this to happen to me, where somebody just is able to say, I did some heinous stuff. And ironically, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> said, said I did some heinous stuff. Then everybody on the internet believes them. Believes all the bad negative things about me. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? I have no recourse. I have no recourse. You know what I'm saying? I, now I'm fighting an uphill battle over allegations that are completely false. And I have to deal with them for the rest of my life. Because it's just going to keep. It's Well, when it when it gets kind of proven that people get quiet and, it, and it'll go away for the most part. It'll go away. But that's a long six months. Like normally it takes three to six months for stuff to, like this to like go away. But then it never really truly goes away because there's still some people that believe it. And there's still those weird old content creators that go down these rabbit holes trying to prove that you are this really heinous thing. Like why do y'all want these bad things to be true? And how, and how did we get to the point where throwing out somebody's a PDF is like the, the, the golden ticket. It's the golden tool. Number one song in the country right now. Ca calling Drake a PDF. PDF allegations are getting leveled at everybody, left and right, and left, right, center. Meanwhile, there's real people that have real problems that are really, really hurting children. And we're wasting time on witch hunts with people that have not done any harm, that haven't done anything wrong. This has got to stop. This has to cease. Cease and desist. Please. And thank you. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all thinking in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm going to ask y'all to subscribe. Uh, I know. I know. Already, I'm gonna be catching a lot of hell in the comments because people just like, like oh, well, so and so said it, so it must be true. I don't know that motherfucker. I don't know the dude that works at Twitch. Could it be true? Absolutely. But I can't run around here going, yo, he's a PDF. And I, I ain't got no real proof, substantive proof. Like, come on, what are we doing? What do we do? And Twitch paid him. What are you talking about? Twitch paid him. There's a morality clause. They could get out of paying him completely. Why would they not do that? Now, what you gonna tell me? Oh, well, he has some. He has some. Oh, uh, he has some. Some big evidence against the CEO and the company. And the company was just like, oh, we don't want to get exposed to you. So we're, we're just gonna pay him. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Like, the, the levels of leaps in logic to make whatever you're trying to be true, true, proves you're dumb. You're dumb. Y'all have a good day. I'm up out of here.